Hi, I am Vijay Sharma, Senior Product Manager at Amazon Web Services. Do you need Microsoft Active Directory in the cloud so you can migrate Windows workloads? Do you want on-premises users to access those workloads without retraining? Do you also want to use a managed AD service? Well, AWS Managed Microsoft AD is the only managed AD that can do this. Today, I will demonstrate how to extend your on-premises AD to the AWS Cloud using AWS Managed Microsoft AD and AD Trust. With the Trust, your users get the Windows single sign-on experience to AD-aware applications on-premises and in the AWS Cloud. On the left is your on-premises Microsoft AD. On the right is your AWS VPC with AWS Managed Microsoft AD and Amazon EC2 Windows. You connect these networks with Amazon Direct Connect or a virtual private network connection. You then create a forest trust or an external domain trust. This can be one-way or two-way trust. Next, you domain join the EC2 instances to your AWS managed Microsoft AD. To create the trust, you need Kerberos pre-authentication enabled in your on-premises directory. You must configure your on-premises firewall and the AWS security group for AWS managed Microsoft AD to allow AD traffic. You must also configure the trust direction correctly on both sides and configure conditional forwarders. Now get your AWS managed Microsoft AD directory name and the IP addresses Office DNS servers. In the AWS directory service console, choose your directory. On the details page, note the directory name and the DNS addresses. Switch to your on-premises domain controller. Open Server Manager. On the Tools menu, choose DNS. Choose Conditional Forwarders. On the Action menu, choose New Conditional Forwarder. Type the domain name of your AWS Managed Microsoft AD. Choose IP addresses of the master servers and type the AWS managed Microsoft AD DNS addresses that you noted earlier. Ignore any timeout or unable to resolve errors. Select store this conditional forwarder in Active Directory and choose all DNS servers in this domain. Choose OK. To create the trust, open Server Manager and go to Tools menu and choose Active Directory Domains and Trust. Right click your domain and choose Properties. Switch to Trust tab and choose New Trust. Type the name of your AWS managed Microsoft AD domain and choose Next. Choose Forest Trust. Choose a two-way trust. Choose this domain only. Choose Forest Wide Authentication. Type a trust password. Remember this password because you will need this password when setting up trust in your AWS managed Microsoft AD. Choose no, do not confirm the outgoing trust. Again, choose no, do not confirm the incoming trust. Choose next. Now you are done preparing your on-premises AD for trust. Now switch to the AWS Directory Service Console 
and navigate to your directory details page. Choose the networking and security tab. Choose add trust relationship. Here choose forest trust. Type the name of your on-premises domain. Type the trust password that you used earlier. Choose two-way trust. Enter your on-premises IP addresses in the conditional forwarder field. Choose add. Congratulations, you now have a two-way forest trust between your on-premises AD and your AWS managed Microsoft AD. If you have errors, verify your trust settings are consistent, check your network link, and check your firewall and AWS security group settings. Now let's test the trust by signing into an EC2 instance using on-premises credentials. To do so, I need to first grant on-premises users permissions. I first go to an EC2 instance that I use to administer my AWS managed Microsoft AD and log in as admin user of my AWS managed Microsoft AD. Launch Server Manager. Choose Tools and then launch Active Directory Users and Computers. I navigate to AWS Delegated Groups and add an on-premises user to the AWS Delegated Administrators group by right-clicking on the group. Choose Properties. Switch to Members. Choose Add. Choose Locations and select your on-premises domain. Enter an on-premises user, choose check names, and then choose OK. I will now log in to the same EC2 instance as an on-premises user whom I added to AWS Delegated Administrators Group. Connect to the EC2 instance, select More Choices, and choose Use a different account. I now enter the on-premises AD NetBIOS name followed by a backslash and credentials of the on-premises user that you added to the AWS Delegated Administrators Group. AWS Managed Microsoft AD referred the authentication to my on-premises AD and I successfully signed in. Thanks for joining us to learn how to extend your on-premises AD to AWS. For more information, please visit our website.